guys, we are live and you are watching Slice. I'm Roxy and this is a show where we give chefs $12 to spend and 20 minutes or less in the kitchen to make a meal for two. Taking the Slice Challenge today is Chef Jahangir Mehta from Graffiti Earth. Hello. Thanks so much for joining My us. Pleasure. And you will be making a very special dish for us. What is it? Uh, we're going to make a peanut uh, chicken dish, but basically trying to showcase how we can balance protein with just not eating red, uh, just not eating meat, but mm -hmm. having vegetable sources and getting your protein through that too. So and it's a very balanced dish. Graffiti Earth has a very unique philosophy in terms of the vegetables that they use. Can you tell us about that? So yes, we use cosmetically challenged vegetables, uh, basically vegetables which have some deformity or it could be stuff that is being thrown away for some reason because they don't need it, the farms don't need it or whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. So we try to source that, we get that a good amount from the chef's garden. Yeah, and even are stuff these, like this. would you say, cosmetically challenged yeah, basil leaves? It, it definitely, it has got too many freckles which some people don't like, but okay. we are fine with it. We don't mind black spots, we don't mind beauty spots, we don't mind any spots. We'll take it, we'll use it, and uh, it will be perfectly all right to do that. So that is one thing uh, we try to uh, use even uh, in, in fish, we only use broken scallops because mm -hmm. broken scallops don't have a home. A lot of it is thrown away, so we try and source it from the fishermen. We try to use that only at the restaurant. So in every possible way, whatever is getting wasted, we, I do that at the restaurant. I also do that at University of Massachusetts at Amherst. I run the sustainability aspect of their program and try to see how we can reduce eating uh, breakfast items into dinner, uh, into lunch and lunch items into dinner, and how we can really stretch that pr uh, product. Even today, we've got a uh, pot of boiling water. We, all our scraps always go into a pot of boiling water and we make stock and that becomes soup. That's what we do at the restaurant, we do it at the college. Very cool. It's all of that. And our special judge for today is from Brunch Boys. You may have followed him already on Instagram. Oh is Jeremy Jakobowitz. Jakobowitz. He is our judge. <laughs> Jakobowitz. That's Jakobowitz. Right. Brunch Boys. Yeah. That's fine. Fine. Brunch Boys at Brunch Boys. That's much easier to say. He will be judging you on presentation, taste, and creativity. So the chef with the highest score is going to be invited back for our Ultimate Slice Challenge. Really? So. You got to score good to get on that show. All and right. again, we gave you $12 or less, and you also have 20 minutes or less to make this meal for two. Can you tell us exactly what you bought and how much it cost? Sure. So basically, uh, we got uh, these uh, shiitake mushrooms, which costed $2.79, peanut salted, which costed $1.79, eight ounces of chicken thigh at $2.23. The jalapenos came in at 70 cents, uh, two scallions at 99 cents, uh, one ounce of cherry tomatoes, uh, which look a little more than one ounce, so maybe they don't have their scale very good over there, so we are very lucky, we, or we cheated them, at $2.49, two sprigs of basil at 99 cents, with a dollar, uh, total coming to $11.98. The two cents are left because soon the jalapenos will become more expensive once that stupid wall is built. So. And just we have letting a you know, it will display, be under just, twelve dollars. <laughs> we have a little more on display just to show you guys for the visuals. And you do get twenty minutes or less. So let's get that timer on the clock. Are you ready for the slice challenge? I am ready. Well, we got a mushroom <laughs> nibble on while you watch. I thought you were catching. <laughs> <laughs> now let's get that timer rolling, and you can get going. Okay, let's go. So we are just slicing up. Uh, the mushrooms, we've got the uh, pan heating up and uh, we are going to just prep up most of the stuff. After that, we are going to start cooking things on. Uh, the chicken, uh, what we have done is we have deboned it and what we can do at this point is just pour these uh, into the water right here and we can get that boiling. Uh, all the scraps like this, again, goes right into the pot. So we have literally zero waste, and that's the most important thing. Now, would you serve the soup with this dish? Could it go along with it? We can, we don't have to. It all depends on its soup. You can really get up at 2 in the morning and have it again. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing for to have for supper. So. Vinny, he's been on the show before. He's a chef from New Jersey and he's tuning in. 
got some competition for you, Vinny. Ooh. So again, taking off uh, the head. Now this all depends on how spicy you like it. Jeremy, what's your spice level like, man? I like spice. You like spice. Am I making uh, a mistake by saying that? Oh, not really. <laughs> the main thing is it all. Uh, it's up to you. If you are a person who likes a little less, leave the leave the chilies whole like this, so you'll get a more rounded f uh, feel for the chilies. If you feel that you're a medium spice person, remove off the remove off the seeds, so you won't have that uh, go crazy on you. The smaller you cut it, the more intense it will get. And of course, if you keep the seeds also. So let's just uh, remove off most of them, uh, most of the seeds. Again, if you're not gonna get it here, you're gonna get it into that soup. So whichever way, we are gonna use up everything. So we have almost zero waste, as I mentioned. Sylvia says, awesome knife skills. Oh, thank you. So again, all this, just push so it right in. What would you in. like more spicy, Jeremy, the soup or the dish? Um, probably a dish. I mean, I find that I always want balance of everything. And okay. When you're missing so, a little bit of heat, it's always a little disappointing. Especially when I see the jalapenos, I'm like, oh, I see them, I want to taste them. Taste them. Okay, so we'll chop these up a little fine. For you. And so that's one thing that uh, you can always use a more spicy chili and uh, uh, with recipes, it's up to how you wish to eat it. It's very, very important. Uh, how you like the flavor profile of recipes, if you feel that you want it. Uh, like we're gonna put onion seeds. If you're a person who doesn't like that earthy aspect, don't put the onion seeds. Just make the recipe your own. As I always say, it, a recipe is pretty much like a Bible. You don't use everything from the Bible. You only use the things that you like to use. And same way, religion. Just go with the same flow. Like, just do whatever makes you happy and uh, and keep that profile going for your recipe. Gail says, love that the pepper seeds are safe. Gaylene says, I'm not keen on heat. Now, okay. if somebody doesn't like the spice, could they use a different kind of pepper? I mean, this is a mild pepper, but don't use pepper at all. Okay. There is no issue one bit. Don't use what you don't wish to use. We'll get this uh, pot started, all right, because Let's put this on a little bit of a high heat. We are gonna add the chicken in. At this point, we're just gonna uh, half these tomatoes off, okay? So we'll have that. What, do you, what would you use the seeds for if you're not using them in this dish? In, in this dish, I mean, uh, what we normally also do is, if there is some, uh, uh, we make burgers, so we'll add it into that because meat has a little more body in there so we you we dry them up sometimes for crunch we we somehow use it somehow or the other things get used up in the restaurant and uh, and if nothing else then you force it down as family meal to your <laughs> you just don't have a choice <laughs> so your restaurant graffiti or literally has no waste pretty much so as 90% or, uh, or so is always used up and the other 10% as I said you have to just tell the family guys that's what they are eating today. Or when you come in, we'll say, oh, we made you a real special dish and you're getting all that crap that we gave, uh, that we had left over. So we are just telling you that. You just gotta make it sound yeah, right. Yeah, you just have to make it sound right. <laughs> and you have just under 15 minutes left. Okay. It's like alternative facts, right? Basically, it's the same way. <laughs> just make it sound right. So, now all these ends also will all go right in there. And now Jeremy, I know you take mm. a lot of photos of food for your Instagram brunch boys. What do you look for specifically in terms of presentation? Um, a couple things I always look for. I look for color. I think like as much color as possible. Let the dish pop. When I see like a lot of browns and sort of muted tones, they're never gonna do as well on Instagram. Just look as pretty. Um, and I always think- So you don't like me? You're saying you don't like brown people? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, Getting okay. in trouble. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said something like that. It sounded you don't like brown. Or no, no, okay. no, no, no. I love brown. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. And then I think it's also for just to like visually be able to see what the food is. Especially, you know, I always think of photos on Instagram. And people scroll very, very quickly and want to grab their attention. So if it's like right away, oh, this dish is this, that's really cool. All right, so we are going to add these 
a little bit of the onion seeds, which will give it that nice earthy flavor. Caitlin says a restaurant without waste. This is great. I, what is great about it? Sorry, I didn't It's just hear. great. That's Everything nice is great go. about it. Because I've, I've often read that restaurants do waste a lot of food in grocery stores as well. They do. They do. There is a lot of wastage, and which is sad, but uh, it, 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 it would be nice if they would just start looking at food differently and start seeing to it that they can use up waste in different formats. And, and it's very easy. Like, I mean, we also, a lot of times, all the scrap, little, little things that are left, we add all that, grind it up and add that into our dumpling mix. You know, so the dumplings will get that. Our, uh, and you have to be also open to the fact that things might taste a little different. It's okay if your soup profile changes a little by little on a daily basis, and that's what happens. I mean, today, uh, for instance, if this was a special, my dish profile will be a little different compared to if uh, the day I'm cooking a little more of cabbage and cauliflower, the scraps are gonna be a little different. So it all depends on that. And if you're okay with it, your philosophy is there, I think people are fine with it. I think that's the most important thing. So, a little salt. I always like adding turmeric in my food because turmeric is very healthy for you, as well as uh, Turmeric reduces uh, the rate of getting Alzheimer's, and uh, I love my life. I want to remember it. So, as simple as that. And now that this dish is sizzling, starting to cook, Jeremy, can you describe the smell in this room right now? Uh, it smells amazing. I love it. I think I'll, you know, think for the jalapenos in there because a nice aroma. I'm salivating already. Thank you. That's good to hear. <laughs> Right now it looks more like a, sal a salmonella type of aroma, but thank you for <laughs> making it sound so lovely. <laughs> so, now again over here, I want two different textures. I want uh, the onion to be there as a, a little bit whole. I know scallions don't have that big texture of it, but we are gonna use the ends of the scallions up. We are gonna just chop it up and use it up. Peggy said, wow, I didn't know that about turmeric. I'm so sorry, because of the span, I didn't hear you one oh, more time. Oh, she, she didn't know that that fact about turmeric. Okay. It has so many health benefits. Yes, it does. It's a uh, minute you, uh, as a kid, minute you fell down, turmeric was always given to you because it's great for as a healer for your body. So it was something that we always had growing up. And it's very healthy. In under 11 minutes now. Okay. Susan says hi and she loves the show. Thanks, Susan, for watching. And Caroline says, if you don't mind, what is your accent? What is my accent? I am Persian by race, but I was uh, born in Bombay. We are Zoroastrians, so we were refugees from uh, uh, Persia, but grew up in Bombay, but most of my life I've lived here. So it's pretty much an immigrant accent, that's what it is. When did you develop the philosophy of not wasting food? I think growing up, uh, that's the best thing about growing up in a third world country. I think it doesn't matter from what walk of life you are, if you're rich or not rich, it was not that, was not the important factor. The most, the, uh, most important thing was it was a philosophy which was, I think, embedded in you that you must not waste food you know i think that is something that was very 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 crucial to the to your upbringing and i think it just came with that it was not structured and it is something that some people just have you know either you have it or you don't it's it's pretty much in that sense it's uh, and i think that is what how i think i have grown up and we've kept it going just under 10 minutes. All right. Julie now has a question for you. Is that white or dark chicken? Uh, th this is only, uh, we, uh, I, we literally only use the Thai meat. So I think it's very flavorful. So we literally only use the Thai meat at our restaurants. So at this point, what I'm doing is I'm just gonna take this chicken out for a second, use the same pan right here. We're gonna add the uh, peanuts in there and uh, put in uh, the 
shiitakes as well as the tomato and get that nice flavor in and then we'll finish it off one more time with the chicken in there. Uti says the way you're cooking without any waste has been promoted in the Netherlands where I live. Oh, that's really Interesting. great. Interesting. And for those of us just tuning in, tell us again what you're making. So we are making uh, peanut and uh, mushroom chicken. Basically, again, trying to showcase how we can use alternative aspects in life, uh, especially vegetable aspects in life to create protein into your diet. I mean, on an average, Americans are eating close to 110 grams of protein a day. We should be eating about 50 to 60 grams of protein a day. And, and, and that is all coming literally from animal. Uh, so this is a good way to showcase how peanuts will give it to you and every, every vegetable has it. Tomatoes, everything has uh, protein. So it's just to showcase that, that you can get your intake of protein in a different format. And that is what we really want to showcase to you. Gail says, do you have a cookbook for sale? I do, unfortunately it's sold out. It uh -oh. was a pastry cookbook. I was a pastry chef for the longest time and then I literally gave up. I mean, I wouldn't say gave up doing pastry. We do, I do do it at the restaurant, but uh, it almost was like the finale of doing that part of my career. And then I started our restaurant, which will now graffiti, which will be 10 years. We have me and you, which is our private dining restaurant where we do, do dinners, whatever you wish to eat. So it's an all memory driven restaurant. Uh, it, uh, we ask you questions like what's your favorite dish, what's your favorite ingredient, all of that and according to that your colors, your music preference and according to that we cook for you. So yeah, it is, uh, it's, a, it's, it's my pet project, it's really a lot of fun and uh, having said that, uh, that's the second one and the third one is this uh, Graffiti Earth which is where we do uh, everything sustainable, right from our crockery, cutlery, all of that is um, uh, our hand-me-downs. We have not bought any silverware, crockery, cutlery. They're all from friends and family. Uh, if you ever are in a need for throwing away stuff, give it to us. We will take it very happily and use it at the restaurant. So Tammy has a good question for you. Can yep. this dish be eaten cold, like a cold lunch for the next day? Absolutely. I think and there is no problem. It, uh, it has a good salad type feel to it, so it would taste fantastic. And you have about six minutes left. Six minutes left. Let's go fast on Shirley this. is asking what kind of mushroom, and it is shiitake mushroom. It is shiitake mushroom. But you can use other mushrooms, right? Yes, you could use whichever mushroom you feel like. So here again, we are gonna take the stems and uh, just pretty much add the stems right away into the uh, stock pot right there. So that would give it flavor. And the leaves, just tear it up. It's nice whole, we'll leave it as big as possible, you want that nice earthy taste to the leaves. Karen wants to know, what did you season the nuts with? Uh, it was just with a little bit of salt and pepper, nothing salt major. Salt and pepper. And so unsalted peanuts, but then you season it with some salt. Yep. Gotcha. Five minutes. Five Jeremy, minutes. are you looking forward to yeah. eating this? Come on, Mr. Yeah, Stowe. Yeah, getting hungrier and hungrier. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's you, hope this still cooperates with our time and we should be good then. Just need to roll we'll it down a little, add this chicken back in here. Felicia's asking what kind of leaves. They are basil. They are basil, yeah. Right now, basil is the only thing which is legal. Maybe later on, you never know what else come, becomes legal and we could add different leaves in there. And at this point, we're gonna add some tomatoes in. A bit extra, let's throw it right there. And it's a good time to always check what you have cooked, check your seasoning. So we'll just take a small little bite. 
four minutes so far. Jeremy, what do you think of the colors? In this I love dish? it. I mean, I see yellow, I see green, I see red. It's looking good. And how's it tasting, you can, Chef? You can taste the onion seeds, which is nice. You've got that nice taste to it. I think Jeremy would have preferred it to be a little more spicy. If you have another chili in there, you can just grab it and push it in. But uh, Shirley wants to know, can you use cashews? Uh, can you use cashews? Yes, you can absolutely use whatever you feel like. Whatever nut is the right nut for you is good enough. So let's get it plated maybe. Sue wants to know if she can use salted peanuts. Salted peanuts? Yeah, you could use salted peanuts and uh, uh, just don't put uh, too much salt into your food. Yeah, and that's fine. I mean, you can just balance it that way. It's like when if you had used capers or you had used something else, you just wouldn't have uh, added that much salt. So it all depends on what you're using. And less than three minutes left. Less than three minutes? Okay. Felicia says, I'm salivating. Is this a European dish? Well, it's an eclectic dish. Our food uh, influences come from everywhere. Uh, we uh, pretty much uh, just create things according to what we feel tastes good on your palate. I think that's the most important thing for us. So, you say, we've got it all in the tomatoes have just started to get that little wilted look to it that's really what we are looking for and we're gonna add this basil in at this point and you were serious because there's very little ingredients left on this counter here you didn't waste a thing we didn't and the ingredients that you didn't use in the main dish what kind of soup would you say that you're making with them we call it eat my compost. That's, <laughs> that's our hashtag with, uh, with everything we do. So that's the soup that you're getting. And uh, we really, it's the profile that you wish to create. And that's what it is. Tony wants to know, where is your restaurant? We've got two in the East Village and one in Tribeca. And we've got how many more seconds left for us? You got about a minute. About a minute. Okay. All right. Jeremy, so you can go ahead and make your way that. up there. Yeah. Okay. We've got you a little. Watch the presentation in okay. action. Go to. Put the pressure on him. Yeah. Put the pressure <laughs> on. So Felicia says, "Got to cook this for my 66-year-old hubby. He loves mushrooms and chicken." Well, that's great to know. It smells good. And. And this is a very unique presentation because most chefs, I have to say, do use the plates that we provide, but yeah. tell me what you're doing now. So basically, you want to use things which are closest to you and which speak to you. This, does, this uh, wooden board speak to me. The lines over here speak to me because it's sliced TV. So you have to showcase lines somewhere as slicing up wood. <laughs> or you could just take the signs up the t here and put it right here to showcase slice. <laughs> okay. That works too. <laughs> Whatever you feel like. But now we're behind yeah. you, we're just spelling ice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and at this point, if you want to create some soup aspect with this, what you have, you could just take this, add this here, now is that take a, what is left over from here, add is this, this like in. like a sauce? And what we are going to do is just create the same dish if it had to be had as a soup. Okay. Yeah. You've got a soup created. So it all depends on... Oh, oh, er, 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 we're out of time. Uh-oh. Just in time. I'll give you the soup. I'll give you the soup. There. <laughs> Jeremy, behind you in the drawer, I wasn't expecting soup to be served. There are, okay. there are spoons. Right here, buddy. We oh, got right here. Cover. There you go. I'll use this. Okay. Yeah. But before we get into the dishes, Jeremy, yes. just purely based on presentation on what you see on okay. a scale of one to ten, okay. can you give Chef the, the score that you would judge him on presentation? Yes. Want the big reveal? Yeah. Big reveal. <laughs> My handwriting's terrible, but I think I made this work. It's a single digit. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. I give it a seven. A seven. Yeah. Now, why is that? I think it is really beautiful. I love all the colors you chose. There's like green and yellow and red. I just think like when I look at something, it's just like a, it's more of a personal thing. Like I want it to jump off the plate what it is. And if I didn't sit and watch you make it, I think I'd be like, oh, what's this? What, like, is that chicken? It's yellow. I think just like visually, like I want it to really speak to me more. Ricky's um, saying tough judge. Now what, what, what would you... <laughs> well, you brought me in to judge. Come on now. Exactly. <laughs> what would you say to Jahangir to improve the presentation? I think I actually would have liked it on a plate. Uh, okay. okay. I sort of liked that you were using everything here. I guess that's your whole thing. Uh, but I think just sometimes it's hard to eat when things like aren't, don't have the little lip. So I would have gone with that. Okay, we'll right. grab a fork. Okay. Let's but see. More, more importantly, this how is it the... tastes. There right? you go. Okay. Fork, here we go. Kim's saying she thinks it's a 10. A so 10. You, you, you have oh, man. a fan what a tough watching. Audience. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm the expert, and I'm here. <laughs> uh, Ask him how many points will he give home. Yeah, what, yeah. yeah, so what do you if, guys... If, if judge was, me. If judge he was judge. on a Bachelor show, how many points <laughs> will he get? Like, can we ask him that question? Brutal. <laughs> the show is changing to Hot or Not tomorrow. I'll take it. What do you guys think? Yeah. Uh, all right, I'm trying to get, like, a bite with a little bit of everything. Stephen Chang is saying avocado would be nice, too. Could you add that? Anything, Anything. is fine if, it, if your palate agrees with it. If it makes sense, do it. <laughs> Make it happen. Kim just judged Jeremy as a six. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so mean. <laughs> if you're lucky. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> the show is gone. <laughs> it's never coming back again. <laughs> oh, Javier gives you a 12. Oh, oh wow. there, there we go. go. I'll take what I can get. <laughs> but bringing it back to Slice. On right. taste, you have, you have a few bites mm -hmm. now. On a scale of one to ten, right? I mean, you're going back for like seconds and okay. thirds, so. I was also trying to get like a little bit of everything. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go on taste. I go. Before you show us, Shirley yes. wants to know why you kept smelling the food. I think like when you smell it, that's um, it's the first sense you get before you even eat it. So I think it's important just trying to get all the flavors and get all the aroma, and that's you know that's part of the fun of food. It's part of the whole experience. Yeah, okay. exactly. Mm -hmm. So what's okay. the score? One second. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. I think, I really think, just from the noise of how he did it, how he got it with the smell, the way he went with the noise, I think it's this number. Let's see if it is true or not. Okay. It is true. Oh. Whoops, there we go. Yes. I am good at noise. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really loved it. I really did think like the heat came through. I know you're worried about it, but I thought it was like the perfect amount. You know, you said it was in there, it was in there. I love the peanuts. I'm always a fan of like extra texture, extra crunch. I love the scallions at the end, just a little bit of freshness. So that really balanced great. the dish really well. Awesome. And creativity. Creativity. One to ten. Right. Where'd my chalk go? Right. You stole uh -oh. it. All right, here we go. And Steven is asking about your Instagram. My that Instagram. You post pictures. Can you tell us real quickly what it is? Sure. So my Instagram is Brunch Boys. Uh, it is food focused. It is obviously a lot of brunch. I brunch all over New York, all over the world, showing off in photos and videos and all fun stuff, and um, everything's brunch, so it makes it easy. <laughs> so follow me there. It's all food porn. It's all amaziness. A little it's, bit of me. I know you guys have been a little harsh on how I look, but I'm also in the feed. Yeah. <laughs> when, when, you, when you say the word porn, then, then, then you say you shouldn't be uh, critiqued. It's, it doesn't happen, you know? It's it goes with how it Brought goes. it on myself. It's a very creative Instagram feed. And speaking of creativity, mm -hmm. what do you give him for creativity? Uh, give it. He's listening. not even he's looking listening. now, but he's listening. <laughs> <laughs> he's like trying to hide. <laughs> I give it a nine. I thought it was it was really amazing. You know what? It's funny is everyone always asks me like if I cook, and I always joke like, no, it's too expensive for me to cook for myself. But I think the fact that I just took these ingredients, they're all going to be wasted anyway, and for twelve dollars, I made mean, this amazing dish. I really love it. I really love the mix of the mushrooms, and the peanuts, there is the no chicken. garbage. Yeah, exactly. You definitely get a 10 on not wasting food. Mm -hmm. And we have Annie says, you get a 10 for your bravery for being on this show. <laughs> Thank you. Does anyone want to regrade me? <laughs> no. We're taking, we're taking votes. Oh my God. It's well. a little hard. I want, to, I want to feel better about myself leaving. <laughs> so Jeremy, Jahangir, check him out. Graffiti Earth, Brunch Boys. Thank you so much for joining me today Thank on you. Slice. It was a pleasure. Yes. Thank you guys Thank for watching. You, Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to try this food. Mm -hmm.